I want to take time with you to share some good videos I've been through on YouTube. You know when you publish or search for a specific subject on YouTube, then it will suggest you other videos related to the subject you're looking for. So, publishing this Kids Stay Quick Attach video, then some video pop up and I did find two other channels and two other videos about a homemade skill stair quick attach which are really interesting. Uh, both guys are really talented. Let's say I have some fab skills, they are way much above me. And I'd like you to see those channels and videos. One is my old tractor, I put the link in the description below. And the other is Josh Record. So they both did skid steer quick attach uh, retrofits on their tractor and I invite you to see their channel, their videos because they've got some good content there. Okay next thing is to assemble, this is the only the inner side of the frame which uh, allows us to make some trial on the uh, tractor. Um, this is the center for the curl cylinder and this is for the loader arms. Uh, next. Uh, next thing we'll do is to put those duplicates on the sides. We're going also to make sure that we align the pin and we're going to uh, have the bushings if you can. Can you? Uh... Thank you. So we have the bushings there with the chamfer that would be also welded against the. Uh the plate so we get some uh, more support for the pins. Same thing for here and the other. Then in order to get the proper spacing I took that small piece of 3x3. Uh, I'm going to fit that in because 3 inches is the uh, target and 1 eighth of an inch plates that would be fit inside. I'm going to clamp this and I have this edge being checked for 90 degrees so I'm going to have the pin being uh, welded with the bushing perfectly uh, parallel to the uh, jig. Okay, we uh, added the, after a long discussion with Dave, which is just behind the camera, by the way. Uh, we uh, discuss about many gusset and reinforcement we can put. So there will be here. This is a two by two cut in half with an angle that will sit like there. Small pieces in the middle. And by the way, we can't cross there just because the curl cylinder in the retracted position goes fit right in, in that position that's why we have to do small gussets there there will be some gusset also to catch from the cross member the top member and the pin and yet some reinforcement at the base here uh, between that plate and the bottom uh, member and then on the sides we're going to uh, gap uh, to fill gap the uh, uh, in between the uh, two by two and the side plate through that uh, bushing and that's pretty much it so we're going to have a good welding to do now
here we have got 44 at the top but since this is an uh, addition that we took up from the other side this part was here just to make uh, sure that the pin and the uh, lower arm are not in the same uh, position we had to remove this and put it there so we don't have any support at the bottom and then the uh, quick steer latch is made to have some support at the top and the bottom so it's not square so we have to add those tabs so to make sure that it can be supported at the top and bottom and yet uh, we've prepared those uh, gussets to make sure that I don't bend that small tab and this way this and this part will be uh, supported by the side of the uh, bucket. Minus 25 Celsius, minus 10 Fahrenheit. That's a pail of uh, um, cinder and some. Uh, so I took this pail from the stove inside. Try this. 
Yeah.